Excellencies, members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rüdiger Lenz, the director of the Aspen Institute, and I would like to welcome you to the expert panel and part of the conference on young people, migration and the demographic challenge in the Western Balkans. I'm delighted that this year, this very special conference is taking place in the spotlight of the German presidency of the Council of the European Union. I would like to express my gratitude for the fantastic cooperation in such difficult times, as we all know, to all our partners in this endeavor. First and foremost, to the German Federal Foreign Office. Second, to the South East Europe, South East Europe Association. And don't forget about my team. First and foremost, to Valeska Esch, Vice uh, Director of the Espen Institute, and Janne Gremme, who both worked relentlessly to make this conference happen. Thank you. I would also like to thank the Regional Youth Cooperation Office and Cross Border Factory and all others who have helped us to put this event together. With um, a few words, let me say a few words about Aspen first, which as most of you know has been focusing on developments in the Western Balkans since the early 90s. And the development of this region is and will be a central pillar of our prom programs. In different formats, such as the foreign ministers' conferences and in our regional dialogue, we have supported and facilitated high level exchanges among decision makers and experts across the region and the EU. But we have also a strong focus on civil society organizations. For now almost three years, Aspen's Berlin Policy Hub connects think tanks from the region with experts and decision makers here in Berlin in order to make sure that their voices will be heard as well. Of course, most of you are no strangers to our regular conferences and discussions in Berlin and in the region where we convene civil society actors decision makers and stakeholders from the EU and the Western Balkans to address issues in the region and beyond. Now to our main topic of this conference, young people. As we have seen yesterday and as you can see in the program for today and tomorrow, you that lie at the heart of the conference. It is you that, that deserve to be put in the spotlight because too often your voices go unheard. Therefore, I'm delighted to welcome so many young people from all over the region as participants and panelists in this conference. I'm sure that you will make good use of this platform, and I know that you have plenty to contribute to our discussion. And not to forget about all the others who I hope are now glued to their screens, of course, this conference will, would serve no purpose without the overwhelming interest and participation from you that have joined us in front of your screens now from all over Europe. We are delighted to have you with us. Thank you for your continued interest, despite the lack of physical me meetings, which is something which I'm sure everybody of us is missing. Some last remarks on our online platform which I think will serve as an add-on value to this conference, even beyond the conference itself. The topic of emigration and challenging demographic developments, which we will discuss in the upcoming two days, has been a major challenge, not only for the six Western Balkan countries that we will focus on, but for many countries within the EU and beyond as well. On our conference platform, you will find multiple possibilities to engage further with the topic, each other, and get to know your speakers. You will find a series of background papers in the library that make for more in-depth reading on all topics covered on the panels. You will also find further a series of videos in the cinema, some of which will be integrated in the conference throughout the next days and some of them already helped to introduce our conference and promote the main topic, young people. We invite you to browse through and check out the many interesting stories we have gathered. 
The platform further provides a virtual network space where you can continue the discussions in an informal environment over bilateral or small group conversations. We invite all of you to join us there during the breaks. Finally, we would like to invite all of you to make use of the multiple ways of engaging in the conference discussions, either by contributing to the panels with questions or comments and comments on Twitter. That being said, I wish you fruitful discussions in the days ahead, and we are looking forward to engaging with you in the future as much as Espen and we have done in the past. Thank you. And now over to you, Manuel Sarrazin, member of the German Bundestag and president of the Southeast Europe Association. Manuel, the floor is yours and very welcome. Thank you and welcome also uh, of the side of the Southeast Europe Association and German Südosteuropa Gesellschaft, which is more familiar to us. I would like to thank Rüdiger Lenz and join in in his gratitude for the excellent cooperation in such difficult times with our partners. First, the German Federal Foreign Office, who is launching this conference in the context of the German presidency of the Council of the European Union. The Espen Institute with Rüdiger Lenz and Valeska Esch and their team, and the staff of the Espen Institute and the Southeast Europe Association in Munich, together with our colleagues from the Western Balkans desk in the Federal Foreign Office. They all made this conference possible through all the difficult planning periods in those bumpy times we had in the last weeks and months. Some brief information on the work and the mission of the Southeast Europe Association. We are a unique network with more than 700 members, most of them experts on Southeast Europe, including the Western Balkans and an area of 10 more countries from Hungary to Moldova or Turkey. Our experts come from a wide range of backgrounds, from academia, politics, administration, business, international institutions, the media, culture, and civil society. As Rüdiger Lenz has said, it's the young people who lie at the heart of this conference. And I'm also both deeply impressed and highly delighted by the fact that so many of you young people from the region have joined this event. And much more than this, that you take an active role as speakers in the panels with uh, the paneling discussions and the testimonials and videos. We would have loved to have you all here in Berlin or at least here in the studio, but COVID is a merciless barrier to mobility as we all see in the moment. In general, the perspectives of young people are one of the predominant issues of our association's work. We organize thematic workshops with young representatives of civil society in the region. Every year in early October, Except, of course, in this year, we are holding our University Week, especially tailored for young academics from Southeast Europe and the region. We also offer special awards for excellent dissertations in the field of research on Southeast Europe. You can learn more about our activities when visiting our website. But perhaps do not forget, Southeast Europe Association tries to be both a lobby group for the interest of your region in Berlin and in the politics in Germany and perhaps also in Brussels to a certain extent, but also trying to communicate into the region from Berlin and to bring people together who are interested or experts on the region. So let's say that way, perhaps our network is so uh, impressive only because so many impressive people are engaged over the instrument of the Southeast Europe Association. Some thoughts to the topic of our international conference on young people migration and the demographic challenge in the Western Balkans that has started here yesterday with the participation of our foreign minister um, Heiko Maas and the foreign ministers from the Western Balkans. As we see European Union and the idea of Europe actually I personally believe that the idea every person from Europe has the right to find his or her own luck wherever it's suitable for the person within our continent is one of the core values of European Union. Mobility, borderless work, to be able to choose your own face for your own life is one of the core principles who lie at the heart of European Union and are one of the strengths of the European idea. But if the question of migration from the Western Balkans to, uh, for example, Germany, or also other way around, 
would be only so simple and easy, probably you would not have to talk about this topic so much on a conference like this. Migration is also uh, facing severe challenges and causing severe challenges regarding demographics in the region, regarding the ability to develop in the region, but also if it's not only um, the question of individual face that's uh, uh, predominant when, for example, countries like Germany are trying to generate migration from the region for our own interest. We try to, con in this conference, to shed light on both of the phenomena of immigration and also of the uh, um, opportunities who are caused by this. Migration is an opportunity and a challenge, and we try to be on these topics clear enough and to focus on this. The goal is to offer more insight into why people decide to leave and the effects of this factor exodus has on the countries of origin, as well as to develop recommendations for the policy responses. The conference will bring together scientists, experts, and political decision makers from the Western Balkans, EU member states, and EU institutions to analyze the situation in the region and to discuss long-term strategies as well as short-term measures. The overall goal is to identify joint strategies for the countries of origin and destination that are mutually beneficial. The issues will be also discussed with an eye to the additional burden that the COVID pandemic is placing on the region. The conference is part of the official program of the German presidency of the Council of the European Union and is supported by the German Federal Foreign Office. We are both, Rüdiger and me, delighted and motivated about the huge interest this conference has met with its more than 700 registered participants, most of them with a high level of expertise on the topic that we discuss. I'm looking forward to fruitful discussions today and tomorrow. You are once again invited to make use uh, of the multi-level and multi-faced online platform Rüdiger has perfectly introduced already. You will see that our colleagues in Berlin and Munich, together with other dedicated partners, have made a lot of efforts to render this online conference a most interactive and memorable one. You, the audience, are cordially invited to join the discussions with your questions and comments. I'm sure we will all profit from the expertise of the most experienced expert on the topic of, the, of migration and on the Western Balkans. Thank you so much so far. Before we start our first panel, moderated by Ambassador Susanne Schütz, we will show <clears throat> you a short video providing some spotlights on the questions that will be discussed there and during the next two days. Thank you. <laughs> 